So a little bit different type of video today. I'm in the kitchen, but I'm not cooking, okay? Today what I wanna kinda of go over is, as you may or may not know from watching, we got, we got company, we got company, everybody. Are you ready to get weird? Let's get weird, okay? I'm gonna show you a dog treat that we make for our dogs. We have, if you haven't seen before, we've got a two-year-old working bloodline German Shepherd named Storm, and then we have an eight-month-old Belgian Malinois puppy named Havoc. What can I say? We like to be subtle when we, na when we name our dogs. We also have a almost three-year-old poodle mix. She's a half a poo named Coco, and she's the oddball out in all this. What I wanna get into is raw treats and raw dog food diet for your dogs. I'll kind of go into all this, but let me go ahead and get start getting the stuff out so we can start working on this. I've got spinach. I've got carrots. Green beans and broccoli. When we first got Storm a couple years ago, we knew that we wanted to give her really good dog food. We had uh, labs before and they were awesome dogs. And one of them, a yellow lab named Duchess, she had hip dysplasia. We gave them what we believed was a really good dog food. It was what we believed was an expensive dog food at the time. And my sister was giving her dog grain free. So we switched over to grain free and it made like a huge difference in the quality of life for our yellow lab. Uh, whenever she would get up, she didn't wince or whine. So we became real big believers in, in grain free dog food. And then once we got Storm, there started to be some issues where grain free, what they do is they switch the grain, the corn out with beans. And dogs can also have too much beans, apparently. I'm not an expert in any of this, but so it started causing health problems with that. So after much research, we found out that the best thing for a dog is raw food, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put in some broccoli in my blender. We actually, a lot of the, the diet for our dogs consists of chicken leg quarters. You know, if you're thinking that raw diet seems kind of crazy, uh, you know, it did to us at first. We actually, the first thing we did before we went to a raw diet for Storm was cooking her food. <laughs> I don't know, this probably seems crazy to some of you, but my mom and dad actually did a lot of this for us. Where we would cook her chicken in a slow cooker and then gave her a lot of rice because she had a sensitive stomach. And that really helped her a lot, it, you know, compared to dry dog food. It helped her stomach issues a lot. But I didn't feel like she was getting all the, the, the vitamins and minerals that she should be getting. So we gradually moved into the raw diet and now the, a lot of it is raw chicken leg quarters. And you may be thinking, first off, raw chicken, will that kill your dog? No, because what do, you, what do people die from when they eat you know, undercooked chicken and salmonella? Dogs already have salmonella in their stomach. It's already in their gut, so that's not an issue. Bones, will giving your dog chicken bones kill it? Yes, it will kill it, possibly, if you give them cooked chicken bones. Any cooked animal bones will splinter. It changes the makeup of the bones once you cook them, and they can splinter and kill your dog. Raw bones, however, are fantastic for your dog. And they'll, they'll eat that leg quarter anywhere from 45 seconds to a couple minutes. So I'm sit pretty. Good girl. Okay. Like I, I mean, she will do everything she can to avoid my hands. It's so gentle. Habit's getting better. Look at there. Left. Good boy. Right? No. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you gotta watch your fingers. So like I could put my hand there. He's not gonna. He might eat like a pig, but he's not. He's gentle. Yeah, he's not food uh, aggressive or anything like that. Can I have that? Isn't Keep it good to this when they're puppies too? Yeah. Yeah, like just because I want to make sure like if our girls come out here that they don't. They're, they're never food aggressive. Actually, Coco, the little dog, is the most food aggressive, but not with people, just with them. If, they, if she has a bowl of food sitting there and they look at that bowl of food, she starts snapping at them. All done?
I've got my broccoli in my, my blend tech. Will it blend? Let's find out. I'm not worried about blending this all up super fine. Some of it I do want, but some of it I just want the, as I said before, the vitamins and minerals. It's a process, okay? It's a process. I'm just kidding, I'm not, not from Canada, okay? Now I'm gonna put in some spinach. Frozen green beans, I'm just gonna throw these in just like they are. So I got carrots, broccoli, spinach, green beans, all in there so far. At the beginning of the video, you saw me cutting, what was I cutting? Chicken livers. Okay, when you buy these, they're frozen. And you know, you can do this all, you can thaw all this stuff out and just make these if you're gonna make a little bit at a time, but like I'm gonna make a lot. So I don't wanna, I wanna keep this stuff as frozen as I can. The meat, when I put it in, has not been frozen. So I'm going to freeze it for the first time, but I don't want to thaw and then freeze this stuff. So I cut these on the bandsaw and then I rinsed them off to make sure there was no sawdust on it. <laughs> and then I ran wood through the bandsaw to make sure there was no chicken liver left on the blade. All the blending's done. Next step, for me anyway, is I like to add pumpkin. I've got like organic pumpkin here. Pumpkin is really good for your dogs, uh, if, if they're kind of, you know, you know, I don't, what can I say, if they're, if they're, oh, what's the best way to put it? If, you know, if, if they need some firming up when they go outside, okay, pumpkin does that. Pumpkin has a lot of good uh, vitamins and minerals and everything, but you can, you can buy canned pumpkin and just add a little bit of that, to, even if you give your dog dry dog food. You can add a little bit of pumpkin to help firm things up. Next ingredient, salmon. Salmon, as you know, is good for humans. Now you can't give a dog too much salmon and they can actually have salmon poisoning. So it's kind of like the I'm gonna put that juice in there and everything. And there's bone in here and everything, but this bone, you can eat the bone better in these cans. Salmon is kind of like organ meat for dogs, as far as, you know, not wanting them to have too much of it. So, but by the time this gets mixed with everything else, it'll be great. It has uh, what, omega-3 fatty acids, which are good for you, good for your dog. Last thing, hamburger meat. Oh wait, no, 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 I forgot, it's not the last thing. Actually, next to the last thing, blueberries. Blueberries are a superfood for you and they are a superfood for your dog. There's little marbles in there. Storm can be funny sometimes because if you, she'll treat a blueberry like a pill. She'll eat everything and leave the blueberries. Here's where we are so far. Tell me what dog would not want to eat that? What cat would not want to eat that? But I mean, cats. I mean, really people? Okay. I've got a total of about hmm, six pounds of hamburger meat here. And I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. Out of this tray. I'm gonna need a bigger tray.
reason the hamburger patty style of doing this works so well is because it'll fall out a much faster. If you make a meatball, which is another way of doing it, it's just gonna take it because the it's thicker. So it's gonna take it longer to thaw out. Now you can give your dog these frozen because what we're gonna do is make all these patties and then we're gonna put them in the freezer. That way, once they're frozen, you can take them off of the tray and put them in a bag, like a Ziploc bag for storage. All my hamburger and vegetable, my vegetables, all the patties are done now. I'm gonna go put these, I'm gonna go put these in the freezer and I will return shortly. Let's go do a taste test and see what the dogs think of these. There's Havoc one, there's Storm one, and there's Coco one. Hey, yo, Miss Coco. You ready for some of that? Ooh, look at her. You ready? Okay. Was that good? Was that good, Coco? Good girl. Yes, the dog with human eyes. <laughs> Hello. Sit. Good girl. Sit pretty. Oh, you're smart doggy. Bark. Bark. Okay. All right. Good girl. Good girl, you ate everything. Mm -hmm. Let's test them alligator. All right, you've already eaten good fall, you sit. You ready? Ah. Okay. Was it good? Was it good? Hmm? Good boy. Good boy.